Hello and welcome again to Meditative Sunday. But we can see it here again. We took a little break and you hopefully you didn't miss us too much and you forgive us. We were really focusing on some classes online, but we are here again today. Yes. So very happy to see you in this space with us from our beautiful paradise here in the jungle of Peru. And we have been really very conscious about what is happening in the world, what is in the environment, how are people really feeling around the globe. And Ceci picked up something and so did I. So Ceci, please share with us. Yeah, we are living in a time of uncertainty. After a year, more than a year, we are expecting what is next. We are living in fear, afraid of everything, uh, trusting and not trusting what is happening, what the people or the government or the, the science said about what is happening. And really, we are holding this in, inside of us and we are creating plenty of things, like uh, plenty of people is getting sick just for for living in fear or too much tension yes. or that sense of uncertainty and helplessness mm -hmm. so it really seems like nev like never before we are getting hungry for something more than what yes. we are given we are we're really in a space where we notice there must be something else and of course we also hear mm -hmm. the planet is shifting on its own and I want to refer a little bit to our planet, our Mother Earth. You know, this planet has been here for millions of years. And it has had all kinds of changes. And whenever it didn't work anymore, it just shifted. So another stream of scientists are also talking about maybe an extinction event, a shift. I mean, the planet has gone through Ice Age and, and whatever mm. else that maybe we're not even aware of. So it is important for us to step out of that, what we call a 3D reality, mm -hmm. a reality that's really just focusing on, oh, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen to my family, my business, my work. I feel it's really time to step out of that. There is something else going on too, and it's as obvious as everything else. And I guess it's important to understand that there is no more normal. What is normal? And maybe it never existed, yeah. but n now I think it's very clear there has never been a normal. It's, it's time to live beyond, no? And it's time to see beyond what is normal, what is our life, and how we can continue continue walking our path, being strong and, and, and enjoying and feeling that freedom inside of us and shining that light. So it's a lot about connecting and, and of course for us meditation is a lot about connecting. Connecting to self within, connecting to the spirit worlds or whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. We're not really attached to language in that sense, to the fifth dimension, to ascension. We are all awakening on some level because when you're stuck at home and locked in in some way or another, you need to turn within and this mm -hmm. is really where a lot of answers are. So today we like to take you into the inner worlds and of course we're blending as always different traditions because we're not attached to the traditions either and we want to take you into your inner world and it's called the fourth world but again also don't be attached to that. It is a world where there is a higher level of consciousness where whatever is in that space is no more affected and how should I say it's not even addicted conditioned mm -hmm. to fear uncertainty helplessness what we are really experiencing in our current reality so we're taking you there and we will invite you there to connect to an ally now that ally can be a power animal can be a mystic animal, can be an angel, whatever comes to you. We would really like to give you an ally today. Not really we're giving you, we'd like to connect you mm -hmm. to your own ally that helps you to see beyond. 
the fears and the uncertainty and all these other things that really influence us but really don't help us. So we, we feel humanity or humankind gets to a space of hunger. Hunger for understanding more. Hunger for not being subject to just a 3D reality in that we kind of have to live but a choice to source from other worlds that help us beyond coping, but to ride this wave together. So, let's go. Let's go. This is tough. As always, we would like to open sacred space, and it seems to be appropriate to use the elements and the directions. We do. So just so. relax and sit comfortable, wherever you are, and connect to your breathing and connect to your soul inside and to your life, allow your life to come to you. And for that we're calling sacred space now. In the east, we're calling the fire. The fire as in the heat, as in the passion, as it was truly inside of you that keeps you going. In the south, we call it to the air, our environment, everything that we connect that breeze inside of us and allow us to just going with the wind like a feather is flying and being so light and allowed to receive and embrace what our life is coming to tell us and to hear. Oh. And we're calling in the West the element of water. The waves that we find on the ocean that help us to ride this situation into a higher consciousness into new lenses to see it all, not only part. In the water that brings healing on all levels into this world, to all humankind, to all animals, to all plants, to all rocks and stones and everything that needs healing at this time so that we can be part of that wave of evolution that our beloved planet, Mother Earth, Papatunupu, Pachamama is on. Aho. Uh -huh. In the north, we call to the earth, to the soil. The earth does allow us to ground, to settle. The earth does allow us to to feed our human being, our human body with all the nutrients that Mother Earth gave us through that soil. And let's put a lot of love in that air. Let's put the seeds and plant everything that we want to see growing, full of love full of compassion, full of understanding, to live in harmony, to evolve in this planet. Aho. Aho. And now we're calling in the fifth element, love. Just because things are broken doesn't mean love is not here. Just because things seem to be disconnected doesn't mean love is not here. Let us connect to that element that really takes us through it all. And this element that will help us to find our ally, ride the wave, to manifest and femifest 
be that breath of change and what we want to see in the world and that fire that keeps us in the direction of that shift. Oh. Uh -huh. So just enjoy that beautiful sacred space and bring those elements within you. Keep your breath soft and still. Breathe very lightly. But be present to your breath. As your breath is taking you into your inner world and to your ally, taking you into these inner worlds beyond flesh and bones, blood and air, beyond your human mind. into the inner worlds of the soul that has all the information but also into the energy of all of your chakras your eyes of light that will raise their frequency today as you are connecting to your ally. To support you at this time to break through uncertainty and fears, helplessness, anxiety, and loss. And so let the flute take you within into your inner worlds Imagine you are in your inner worlds. These are symbolic worlds. And imagine it's like an elevator, a lift that is taking you into the fourth world. And your ally that can take you beyond your current situation your state of being, the uncertainty and the fear, the anxiety and the helplessness. So imagine you're stepping into this lift or elevator. And as we are reaching the first level, we are just observing it is basically a world of rocks and stones, a crystal world, a world of 
mountains. We are just passing through as we're coming into the second, the world of the plants. Enjoy that green. Enjoy that amazing harmony that comes even into our elevator. A world of infinite wisdom and connectedness. Passing through into the third world, the world of the animals. And again, enjoy seeing all these different species. And this beautiful harmony again that they have with each other. And then we're coming into the fourth world that we're calling the ascended world of humans and ascended animals, but also the world of angels, mystic beings that have stepped beyond their reality. that have fully embodied their enlightenment. Those humans who have become kind beyond what we can imagine. And so here we are stepping out of the elevator and entering this world, an evolved world, an ascended world, to just step out and find your way, whether you're on this planet or any other, just step out and find your way, where you are guided to be, to connect to that ally that holds you tight and safe and sound so that you can ride this wave of the change so that you too can awaken and evolve so enjoy this journey to your ally. So allow yourself to be embraced by this beautiful ally that is just waiting to help you 
support you to open your lenses of realities, to connect you, to give you that power, that insight, that strength, that flexibility and that love to see through uncertainty and pain fear and loss. So truly connect to that ally. how your ally has taken away your heaviness helps you to see all your relations with yourself with your body with your life with your livelihood with your choices in a different way helps you to understand what you can do in your environment helps you to see new ways to step beyond. This is just a reconnection to remember the power that you have. Knowing that you have come at this time as you are able and as you can. Stay a little bit more in this connection as this ally is part of your I and I, the persona and the spirit that you are. You are really one, just another aspect 
expression that you keep close. Don't be afraid to ask for help. You're just sourcing from self within. And share the love wherever you can. And your ally takes you wherever you need to go, lifting up your whole spirit, rising the frequency in your chakras as high as you can have it. Just stay close, stay connected. So with your beautiful ally, journey back into your presence, into your space for the symbolic, come back through the elevator together, your ally fully awaken within you. Coming down into the third world, into the second and the first, and leaving this elevator of your inner world. And coming into your space and time where you are. You are not alone. You are taken care of and you are safe and sound. So slowly bring your consciousness back into the here and now. You may want to move your shoulders, your fingers, and in your own time, Open your eyes and smile. Good to see you here today. How did it go for you? Hope you're really cultivating now this new connection with your inner eye. There's a lot. It's a very, very rich relationship. And I promise it will carry you through. So for today, enjoy your Sunday and journey with your ally through the week. Allow, allow your ally talk to you from inside. And we see you again next week. Take good care. Namaste. Namaste.